Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Have you heard of Unidragon.com? Yeah, isn't that the puzzle people? It is. They are the largest manufacturer and sellers of wooden puzzles in the world. Let me tell you about it. They have tons of designs, all is set $29.95 on their website at Unidragon.com. Yeah, I know. I've seen them. I, I really like the owl one. All of these are laser cut to perfection. Instead of those old traditional puzzles that you get that are done on cheap cardboard backings, these are all done with wood cutouts, laser cut, and the images, instead of the standard jigsaw puzzle, actually include different animals within the puzzle itself to put together. It's like it's like those big collages where they have faces that turn into Empire State Buildings and stuff. That's correct. Absolutely. You really so you, you you like the charming owl? Well, I really like the owl. And right now, there's a special going on for any Tech Time Radio listeners. If they put in the code Dragon Tech, they'll receive 10% off until June 1st, 2021. That's cool. I'm gonna put an order in today. And of course, my favorite, the inspiring unicorn. Are you gonna get the fox, or are you gonna get the dragon, or the fish? What 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 are you looking to get? No, man, I'm gonna get the owl. You hit the owl, not the serious panda. No, but the owl. It's all about the owl, man. I'm it's, a night owl. You're a night owl. You are a night owl. Visit unidragon.com today and make sure to put in Dragon Tech as your code to receive 10% off. And remember, yeah, those are really cool. I really like the owl. Mike likes the owl. Looking for a new way to start your mornings with current events and trending topics? Hey, y'all, it's your girls Jasmine and Shantae from The Way with Jazz and Tay, your new favorite weekly morning show. Catch us every Thursday morning from 7 to 8 a.m. where we'll be bringing you fun icebreakers to kick off your morning, reviews to inform your day, and all the new music. Again, catch us, your new favorite duo, Jasmine and Shantae, every Thursday from 7 to 8 a.m. Keep up with us on Instagram at The Way Jazz and Tay and on Twitter at The Way JT. See you on Thursday. Hey, Hey Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, have you heard of Virtual PBX? No, what is that like? Virtual peanut butter and jelly? Virtual PBX provides affordable business phone plans for entrepreneurs that need a way to connect to their customers. Never give out a personal number again. They offer business telephone numbers, called forwarding, professional greetings, and so much more. Isn't that the phone you have in your office? That's correct. I have a Virtual PBX Yalink, the T21P E2. But it is the same phone that you will see on the NBC show, The Office. So when you see Dwight and Jim slamming down the phone, I have that same exact phone. Nice. Do you have a stapler and jello? It's the most important aspect of an office, making sure you have a good telephone. Yeah. And I think you can save 15% off when you sign up, right? That's correct. If you go to virtualpbx.com forward slash podcast, again, that's forward slash podcast. You can save up to 15% and you can enjoy their new flex plans starting as low as $13 per month. Well, that sounds awesome. Yes. Are you looking to start a new business or have to have professional greetings, call forwarding, texting, voicemail, virtual receptionist? If you're looking for any of those items, don't go anyplace out at Virtual PBX. That sounds cool. I, I kind of want a sandwich right now. Mike wants a sandwich and you deserve a better IP phone solution. Visit Virtual PBX. Visit them at virtualpbx.com forward slash podcast. Coming to you from the shores of the Pacific Northwest, keeping you up to date on technology while enjoying a little whiskey on the side with leading edge topics along with special guests to navigate technology in a segmented stylized radio program. The information that will make you go, hmm. Pull up a seat, raise a glass with our hosts as we spend the next hour talking about technology for the common person. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. Welcome to, welcome to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan yeah. Mum. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I, I, I had I, So, David, somebody just sent me a text saying that the Facebook feed sounds a little wonky. So I don't know if we're doing anything differently, but I had a, somebody ping me. But I do know that maybe that's because we are now broadcasting on Twitch. Uh, we're broadcasting and, on uh, Facebook. And that, that and makes a YouTube. difference? Well, I don't think so. But I, I just wanted to make sure the engineer knew what was going on. So... All right, David, get on it, man. So, so he's got that. And if you were listening to us on Facebook, if you want to go over to Twitch TV forward slash Tech Time Radio, you can join us for our first broadcast here, which we're really excited about. Um, we have lots of information to do today. We got lots of information to cover, and of course, NFTs. It, 
Well, we got NFTs, we got cryptocurrency. So today's show is packed with lots of information. Take out your pen, take out your pencil, take out your notepad because we're going to have Nathan Nuggets throughout the whole oh, show got a itself. Bunch of Nathan Nuggets, That's huh? right. Okay, we are always broadcasting Saturdays from 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, again at KKNW 1150, a home of our uh, Tech Time Radio station. Mm-hmm. We again have our podcast, video stream, replay of the show, and everything that makes this a one hour technology show. It's about current technology in a simple format without having to geek out. We highlight top tech news along with segments that bring different perspective and highlighted topics. So glad everything is going well. We have the super chat and of course we have Twitch drops. Do you know what a Twitch drop is? Sometimes. So so a Twitch drop is when, when people listen to our show long enough. We can then give special icons, special different items, skins. and we can and skins and different stuff. So we can drop those available on the Twitch platform by listening to our show. So if you listen to a full episode, you will absolutely get to uh, be doing that, and it seems to be perfect. Perfect. All right. Today on the show, again, we're exploring NFTs. Uh, we have how you can sell a tweet for two point five million dollars. We're giving away <laughs> story coffee. We got our uh, alcohol already ready, taken care of. We have Scotch. a a Scottish. Since you said that you wanted some Scottish on last episode, you you didn't even remember. I don't. I don't, I don't remember you, so you anything said that. about so you, last you, episode. You were making fun of my leprechaun stuff and, and being <laughs> Irish. So you said Scottish. So we have some Scottish whiskey on today's show. So we'll see if that goes well. That's good. Obviously, somebody's <laughs> celebrating already. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, and of course, now if you feel passionate about cryptocurrency, whether you like oh, it, whether you hate it, this is the time to get involved on the show. Call 425 373 5527 or 888 298 5569, which says 5569 is KKNW. Again, that's 888 298 KKNW. So we can get you on the show because I am curious on if people love cryptocurrency or if they don't like cryptocurrency. And I'd like to have both different opinions of callers calling on in because we're going to be talking about cryptocurrency and a lot of different things on aspects of that. So now is the time. Or you can always go to Twitter and go hashtag Tech Time Radio and let us know if you like cryptocurrency or if you don't. And we are going to start out, that is correct, with our loaded question of the week. Here we go. What animal would you hate to have outside your home? Cool. I really like the owl. <laughs> Mike likes the owl. <laughs> okay. What animal? What, would what I, animals would you, would you hate to have outside your home? A woodpecker. A woodpecker. Oh, oh annoying. I, I've had one. I, yes. They hit your gutters. Yeah, so mine, yeah. mine at, the, at our house, it, it would hit our gutters to try to signal to all the other woodpeckers. Mm-hmm. So all you do is wake up at like 6 a.m. to what a horrible, horrible deal that was. Oh, yeah, I had I had one when I lived in Arizona. I had one that chomped on my house there, and uh-huh. uh, I kept scaring him off, and it, he really tore up the neighbor's house. Did he? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I totally agree with you. I, I, I would hate to have a woodpecker, but we have owls, too. <laughs> Let me just tell you. And they go, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, that's so, um, um All right. <laughs> the, the, all right do you got it? I've got it. We're going to okay. go into our top stories in the first five minutes. What's happening in the world of technology? This is our top stories in the first five minutes. All right. Story number one. Apple just gave Russia a spot on the iPhone to advertise its favorite apps to its citizens. All right. All right. Starting April 1st, users setting up the new iPhone in Russia will see a screen that allows them to automatically install apps that are officially sanctioned by the Russian government. Like vodka? Well, or uh, like uh, Mail.ru and Kapersky Labs and Yandex and, and different other items that are specifically tailored to um, Russian's area. Essentially, the iPhone is going to be doing this with Russia first and other different countries. Brazil is uh, next up on this. But essentially, they're going to allow them to come pre-installed with specific apps for the country that it's selling in. Oh, that. 
Okay. So the so companies have been doing this forever. Yeah. And and I, now you can buy a phone instead of before <laughs> Apple was like they didn't have anything. If you ever bought a yeah, Android device, it comes with like 16 million different applications oh, yeah, pre-installed on that, right? Some of them you can't get off. Yeah, yeah you can't. And you get like this the Bixie thing. That's the worst thing ever. I, I, I scroll over to the far left on my Yeah, I don't even I don't Yeah, it's it, it's horrible. But it's going to comply with the law. There's a law that was passed by giving the users the option to install the apps when activating the phone. All right, story number two. Netflix is testing a new feature to crack down on shared passwords. Yeah, boy, Net- Netflix is hurting. They are. This is a trailing feature that is going to lead to cracking down on password sharing among the users of the video streaming service. When opening the streaming platform, some users have been reported to see if you don't live with the owner of this account, you need your own account to keep watching. Yeah, comes right up in the middle of the screen. Uh, oh, did you, did, did you see that one when you're using our Netflix account? Did you see that, Mike? Yeah, no, I don't no. use your Netflix. You don't use it. <laughs> no, I don't. We don't share our Netflix <laughs> account either. So it's. I know. So, I know a lot of people who share Netflix, though. Specifically in the millennials group, it's very interesting. There was a survey done by Majid that found that 35 percent of millennials share passwords for streaming services. Uh, across Disney Plus, HBO Max, and other subscribers as a common process of friendship. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I've shared out my password in the past. Have so, you? Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I, mean, I, I, I have not. Uh, well, yeah, you're you're the tech guy. Well, that, that, that's <laughs> correct. So only my family has uh, access to it. But um, yeah, we haven't shared out. But if you did. Now Netflix is going to Netflix, Netflix is, is going to Yeah, it's either it's either a cry for help or a gasp for air. Um the the service hit 203 million global subscribers in January 2021. How many people are sharing? I don't know. So it says it's 203 million global so subscribers. So they they think they can probably get another 200,000 subscribers, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and our final story, China is closing in on its own digital currency. The people of China are likely to be the first central bank to issue a digital version of its currency. The Chinese yen, seeking to keep up with control of the rapid digital economy, uh, is deciding that instead of allowing people in China to use Bitcoin and other digital currencies, they are creating their own currency that will be tied to their uh, standard yen, the Chinese yen, that would be available to have online. Can non-Chinese get this? So no, so this is only going to be this, essentially right. within China itself. This is all this is all inclusive. But we can do that already right now with a credit card, right? So I mean well, essentially yeah. you're coming out with a version of your credit card that you have available for people is is what they're coming out with it looks like. Okay. All right. So Sounds good. It has it, <laughs> it, McDonald's in Shanghai is accepting digital payments of the yen right now. Of course McDonald's is a, a leading industry. Of course. Um, China is also having their ride hauling company and food delivery giants similarly do exactly the same thing. So there is no word essentially when the Chinese construction bank corp which makes this digital currency wallet service will be available to its customers but they say it's absolutely on the way and they expect it to be in place by 2025. Aren't more Aren't most transactions already electronic? Yes, China says. An increasingly cashless society makes the streets and food sellers safer, and it allows them to be able to transaction without having to handle currency. They want to remove the idea of having coins and items within their environment. That's because it's trackable. Because that's that's right. So now, so we are going to absolutely be talking when we come on back about cryptocurrency. It's a little bit different than what China is looking to do, but we're excited to talk about what everybody else in the world can have the option to do. Okay, so what is what is China doing? So That's China different. is essentially creating their yen and then coming up with a way to have it transmit and sell online, which essentially is the same way of having a, a check or a credit card transfer information back and forth. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, so, so it's essentially they're doing they, nothing newer than what America does each just, and every they're day. They're just making it. They're just making it readily available for people, so they feel like it's a cryptocurrency, and they can then exchange it and trade with it online. Okay. So they're coming up with a funky way to have credit cards instead of using cryptocurrency because they don't want people to do cryptocurrency because they can't track. Because it. they can't be tracked, and China wants to track yeah, it. Right. That's what they're coming up with. Okay. Uh, so all right. There's the key. There's the key phrase. Okay. That's right. Um, here's what we got. Um, 
That is it. So we have all of our information can be taken a look at techtimeradio.com. You can check our facts. And what we have coming up next is we have our cryptocurrency, a bit more of what we found on the web segment. And we're going to be talking about should cryptocurrency be the same as monopoly money or is it different? And of course, after that, we're going to be talking about NFTs. So I'm your host, Nathan Mum. Uh, when we come on back, we'll be talking about our pick of the day and our whiskey selection. Uh, and right now, give us a call again at 425-373-5527. We'll see you in after this break. Hi, I'm Bernadette Page, your host of an informed life radio. In an age when the term misinformation is used to silence criticism and debate about COVID-19, vaccines, and more, we're bringing you doctors, lawyers, and scientists to discuss the missing information about your health and medical freedom. And Inform Life Radio airs right here on KKNW every Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. We're starting a real health revolution, one conversation at a time. Join us. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Have you heard about 180 Consulting? No. I love these guys. You know how much I avoid working with copier vendors, right? Uh, actually, I get to hear about it all the time. Not anymore, because guess what? The guys at 180 Consulting took over the entire process. They assessed our needs, worked directly with the vendors on my behalf, and helped us understand our option. No sales fluff, just good information so we can make the right decision. Well, that sounds good. How do they get paid? Their only compensation comes from a small share of the cost savings they create. They work for us, and it's a win-win. You know, that sounds like a no-brainer. There's two ways to reach them. You can get them at info at 180-consulting.com or visit them online at www.180-consulting.com. www.180-consulting.com. Thank you, Mike. 180-consulting.com. What's your story? Have you ever sat with that question and looked to your heart for the answer? It's time to explore the real you. Tune in Thursdays from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. for the brand new show, Story You, with Coach Debbie. Debbie and her guests have a mission to inspire and coach you to find your voice. If you need direction, Story You with Coach Debbie is for you. If you want to be an author, Story You with Coach Debbie is for you. Tune in Thursdays at 4 p.m. and be inspired. So here at Tech Time Radio, we got a new sponsor. It's called Smile Brilliant. If you're like me, you're a little confused about teeth whitening due to all the product variations on the market. So what have we learned? Well, LED lights are a novelty and they don't actually produce better results. Right. And strips neglect the gum lines, crevices, and molars. And then that crest whitening with charcoal and everything is an abrasive that actually wears down the enamel of your teeth. Yeah. And whitening toothpaste only works on the surface stains. The number one product recommended by dentists are custom fitted trays made by the dentists. They are, however, very, very costly. With Smile Brilliance Lab direct process, you can have a custom fitted teeth whitening tray at a fraction of the price without a single visit to a dentist. Using an exact model of your teeth, Smile Brilliance Lab technicians will handcraft your trays to ensure the best possible results. You do all of this from the comfort of your home using their lab direct mail in process for as little as $149 or three easy payments of $49. Additionally, you get a two year tray replacement warranty and a 45 day satisfaction guarantee. For a limited time, as a Tech Time Radio listener, you can buy any teeth whitening or night guard system and receive a second absolutely free for a friend or family member. Head on over to SmileBrilliant.com and use the Tech Time Radio coupon code at checkout. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm this, your host. It wouldn't be great if Nathan there wasn't Mom. a technical problem. Um, <laughs> all right. So we'll see if uh, we heard some technical issues with our stream on Facebook and YouTube and Twitch. And hopefully our Twitch stream is coming yeah. through okay. So maybe we had too many too many streams going on. But David is working in the background. David, thank you very much to, to make sure that we try to be the best we can. If you guys would like to... Um, Definitely go to KKNW1150.com, and if you click on those streams, I hear everything is working perfectly. So it's just our distributed uh, just software solution that is maybe causing us some issues, but not the stream themselves. Oh, nice. Yes. So there you go. So, so well, that's your business. That's not well. I, I, yes. Right. Uh, <laughs> and it's and it's and it's only the video feeds. We're just going to put hear, you right so. on this spot, right? So, yeah. yeah. That's just, yeah. Okay. All right. That's you're that's, not an engineer. So no. That's okay. uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> okay. All right. 
All right. Well, let's continue to move forward because we have lots to talk about. Our yes. whiskey. Let's, let's uh, did continue. we even drink our whiskey during the uh, uh, break? I, no. I did. You, you did? Okay. You this were, is, you were, you were I, trying I was try- to fix the technical stuff. I was. All right. So the KKNW um, video is working fine, I guess. So okay, we have Lismore Scotch Single Malt. Yes. Okay. It is 80 proof. $39. It's a light amber, sweet, floral, crisp, fresh apple taste. Mm-hmm. Long, pleasing finish. Dedicated, mm-hmm. very smooth, light toffee. $39. Is it? Is it smooth? It, not initially. It, oh. has a very, it has a very smooth aftertaste. That does have a little bit of a bite there. Oof. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be getting it um, a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but whew. Yeah, All right. Well, you're giving it. Was that? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like that's like car alcohol. Oh no. Okay, continuing on. All right, we're gonna kick off our segment now. First, let me preface this that we are not financial experts. I do not have investment advice. Uh, if you want to listen to investment advice, you can listen to Tina Mitchell and the Money Hour before me. So I have none of this information that yeah, we're gonna be talking about on about cryptocurrency. Te- this is about technology. It's technology, and I'll say that I've made money on cryptocurrency, and then I've lost money. On cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. I bought a cryptocurrency for $2 and it's now worth 10 cents. Awesome. And then I bought cryptocurrency for 50 cents and I ended up selling it when it was worth like 500 bucks. So um, we're going to learn a little bit about cryptocurrency in a segment that we call What We Found on the Web. What We Found on the Web. All right. Wow, that was, that was very that quick. That was very fast. That was, I forgot that <laughs> was it. All right. So is Bitcoin like monopoly money. Let's just talk about that specifically. Bitcoin. There's worth lots more. of it, well. What's worth more? So monopoly. I say monopoly money is think, worth more than Bitcoin. Well, okay. Let's talk about Bitcoin. Is kind of like monopoly money in the fact that there are abstract tokens that are not claims to any value. People value them because they choose to play the game. Right. All that's right. Like, that's like where we're going to be talking about with NFTs. The same thing. Absolutely. So right now, let's listen to CNBC, Jim Cramer, the financial expert, and what he says about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. All right. You know, this has become one of those things. It's kind of monopoly money. It's like we can talk about it. I mean, I mean obviously, there's people who use it. Uh, if you ever say anything bad about it, there's like this Bitcoin mafia that comes after you. But it, it is a, it, it is an oddity that is not anything to do. I've decided it's nothing to do with us. I right. mean, it might as well be you know the line that you play that you're playing at like, against New England or the Saints tomorrow because it is so little. It's just pure gambling at this point. You know, I mean, uh, there's there's no. It's just gambling. I mean, you want to gamble? Go to Vegas. Vegas is fabulous. Maybe we get Jersey sports betting. I'm not allowed to bet my because uh, my contract. But holy cow, this thing's just a gambling thing. The uh the Tazarians and the Iomegans and the Prestekians and the the Black yes. the Blackberrians, but they you. were there were only a few of them. I mean, I, I I would be afraid too of the Bit Bitcoinians. Or I don't know what we'd call them, but the mafia. Yeah, you better. Yeah, I mean, you better get on the bus of Bitcoin, or else you're just like you know you're left behind. I mean, honestly, what's the difference between Bitcoin and trying to figure out the Super Bowl? Uh, it's gambling. There is absolutely no one has been able to come up with anything. It tells me this is anything but gambling. Well, he certainly has an opinion on it. Uh, so he says essentially it's gambling, and we're, and we're going to be talking well, about yeah. that specifically. Because Bitcoin is probably the gold standard of cryptocurrencies. Okay. And we're going we're to be talking about some cryptocurrencies that are so what, just yeah, horrible. What is it? It's just code, right? It's, it's just it's co- code so, that people value. So it is code that does mathematical complications – Computations? Compu- or I said complications. Well, compli- well complications, it is, compli- it is yeah, complicated. Complications works too. Okay. And it essentially, when it does that, it generates enough processes, like you would be mining gold if you were just back in the olden days, mining gold out in the middle of Yukon and you're yeah. out there and you're, you're just This sounds more going like away, Superman going away. 3 stuff. Well, uh, well, it's not a, a penny or on every, every, every little <laughs> transaction. So let's tell you what- Cryptocurrency is not. It's not legal tender. Right. It's not issued by a centralized authority. Right. It's not government controlled or regulated. Right. It is created digitally and technically. Right. It can turn into a scam. Uh huh. Because there's lots of scams. Of you can course. Do. Okay. Servers have been hacked. 
Companies have been uh, fled with clients that have lost coins. Mm -hmm. Uh, Wallets on computers can be accidentally deleted. Viruses and hackers can destroy information on a computer that would essentially have transactions. That sounds really awesome. Let's, Let's go. The reason we want a currency to be backed by something is to ensure that it remains scarce. Mm -hmm. If the government has to hold gold equal to the currency it issues, then it can't produce an unlimited amount of currency and destroy its value. But, of course, governments don't want to go with the expenses of having large amounts of gold. So, essentially, in today's societies, we have promises by countries to manage the value Mm -hmm. of currency in a reasonable way way right so that's what we have across the world it's all it is, is a is reasonable an, all it, way yeah all is it all it is is another form of people trying to create value out of something else okay so what is the latest cryptocurrency there are new currencies that are come out every hour the cryptocurrency world is the most like unchanging China. with limited knowledge everyone that wants to get into it can essentially create their own currency Create their own prices and see if people will pay the money for those. Let's items. make shroot bucks. So, yeah, so Dwight shroot bucks. You <laughs> yeah, want to make shroot those? Bucks. Okay, I, I, I totally get that. Um, let's talk about Coinbase now. Coinbase is essentially an application uh, that it's used to purchase cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. It is considered the standard. So okay, it's the, it's just a transfer. So it is. Essentially, would it be kind of like um, when you go to Fidelity? When you go to Fidelity or, or a, a known uh, process or a known online provider to provide the items that are available there, mm-hmm. they are the gold standards of buying cryptocurrency. Coinbase doesn't allow you to list cryptocurrency on there until they have done a due diligence of those cryptocurrencies. Okay. So they only have about 15 to 20 cryptocurrencies listed that you can purchase on their site because they actually do due diligence to buy cryptocurrency. So if you want to do cryptocurrency, the thing that you should do to be safe, if you want to play in this gambling space that Jim said was absolutely like playing uh, just, just, going to just, Vegas, just, yeah, if you want to throw money and gamble it, Coinbase should be the very first thing you got. So David, I've heard everything is going great on the feeds now. So everybody was feeding me. So Perfect. whatever we did... Congratulations. Thank you. Whatever All right. happened has been solved. It's uh, solved. Correct. So the next thing you need to do <laughs> is you need to have a cryptocurrency hardware wallet. So let's talk about this. I have one right here. If you're trading currency, so, okay. you need right. to have let a me, hardware let wallet. Me, let me ask you a question. Okay, yes. What is the point of having something that is completely virtual if you have to carry it around in a piece of hardware... <laughs> Like, like my wallet. Like your wallet? Yeah. Well, Here's my wallet. Well, because what happens is there are so <laughs> many currency. scammers. I, I guess I, I have my wallet has currency too. It's got green. It's got green twenty dollar bills. So essentially, what happens is this: like our caller that called in last week. Right. Absolutely. I had a bunch of people ping me offline. They said, "Hey, was yeah. that was that a staged call? Was that somebody you knew? Was that anything?" No, that was a caller that called in. Um, we had about found being out, hacked. yeah, that that it got hacked, and he essentially lost. His cryptocurrency. So what happened is, is he essentially enabled the dual authentication mm-hmm. and allowed the person to come on in and to steal his cryptocurrency. And once you s- transfer it, cryptocurrency is like regular dollars. If you yeah. come on up and rob me so, with a hundred bucks, that hundred bucks is gone. I can't right. just go back and make it up. So again, what's what's the what's really the point here? Well, we're going to talk about okay. that. But if you're doing anything, you have to have, in my mind, a cryptocurrency. You have, to have a physical place to put to your put the stuff. Correct. <laughs> And and I would recommend the Ledger uh, Nano S as one of the uh, and I get not getting paid anything by any of these people, but this is what I have. This is what I store. I am worth and, way more and right why, here. And why it, is that the one? Why is that? Um, awesome? There's a couple on the market. I like this one here because they also send you 24 words. So if this gets broken and I sit on this with my butt, you know, I put it in the back pocket, accidentally uh-huh. go and it smashes in half. Instead of me actually losing it, I can order another one of these, type in the 24 words that come associated with this so device, have have, and transfer it. Yeah. I have a sheet of paper. You have to have 24 passwords yes. in order to get, yes. get Okay. Yes. This seems this seems well, we're rather, getting, rather ridiculous. Well, well so you know what? This is, this is Nathan's nugget. If you're okay. going to do anything, go to Coinbase first. 
Oh, all right, go to and, and, and if you want to find out, you can go to techtimeradio.com, and essentially there's how, a Coinbase link there. You how can click complicated on it. can we make this? Um, well, we're going to talk about how okay. it's secure. So it's, this is a complicated thing. Then you need to make sure that you have dual authentication taken care of. You need to make sure you have Google AdWords um, that are added. So okay. when you buy or sell your cryptocurrency, you go into Google AdWords and you type in that cryptocurrency name. Because when you want to sell, this is not like a standard market, but when your Google AdWords has the word, let's say Bitcoin, Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you get hit with like 15 alerts that Bitcoin's being talked about, Bitcoin's being talked about, that then can trigger you to take a look at the price and then choose to sell it or to not sell it. So having Google AdWords (laughs) for these cryptocurrencies is huge because you can see how the market is going. And all of this is not like a traditional stock market. Essentially, if I'm a celebrity and I say I really like Dragon Coin, which is the one that I've lost a lot of money in, but everybody here, you should all invest in Dragon Coin. Let's do Dragon Coin, Dragon Coin. And all this is going to be SEO'd now. And mm-hmm. so now people are going to say Dragon Coin, Dragon Coin. Wow, it must be good. So let's go and buy it. And then the price will move up and I can do my stuff. That's a- exactly like the stock market. Well, that's, that's, that's how correct. the stock market works. That, that, that is. But. At least those are normally companies that have some financial backing before they get listed. True. But let's talk about some <laughs> other... But let's talk about let's, that let's because talk about it, we have some other things know. here I, that I, we already have coming up. Now, if you don't understand cryptocurrency, there should only be three or four areas <laughs> that you do talk about. Bitcoin, <laughs> you should know about. Ethereum, you should know about. Ethereum. Okay? So Ethereum is the first Bitcoin alternative. Okay. And we're going to be talking about that because Ethereum is what's used for the NFTs. Mm -hmm. So Bitcoin is like gold. Ethereum is like silver. Litecoin LTC essentially launched in 2011 is the first cryptocurrency to follow the footsteps of Bitcoins. It's essentially kind of like the copper. It's it's a Bitcoin. It's a Bitcoin derivative. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit. It's a fork. (laughs) It's a it's Bitcoin light. It's it's Bitcoin light. That's a nice way to think of it. It's a Bitcoin for the cheaper person because it's not worth the same. It's 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 like five hundred dollars. So Bitcoin. This should be Bitcoin, and Bitcoin should be Bitcoin plus. Bitcoin plus. uh, You get a plus everything. That's right. (laughs) So yeah, Disney plus. That's right. That's that's right. (laughs) Okay. So essentially, if you have Bitcoin. A uh, cash, which is also, it's called BCH, Bitcoin Cash. That is also a derivative. <laughs> BCH, huh? BCH, I Bitcoin Cash. I can think of another one. Okay, another well, word for that. And one. the other uh, real time stock that if you're going to be doing any of this stuff, you should be looking at RXP, which is Ripple. So you got Ripple, Zerp Bit, it. Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Bitcoin and, and Ethereum. Ethereum. Don't mess with anything else, please, people. Unless you understand this market, What's, those are the only ones yeah. I can guarantee you at least have software developers working on a process with an idea to have the things work correctly. All right? Yeah. Everything else okay. is essentially not at that level. Now, let's talk a little bit about fake cryptocurrency. No. <laughs> okay? <laughs> this happens all the time. So but it's all fake. So it? let's talk about a company called, on the NASDAQ, that's traded as BTBT, which is Bit Digital Incorporated. Mm-hmm. It's essentially worth sixteen dollars and ninety four cents on the Nasdaq. Oh, it wow. got listed and it is essentially being traded as a common stock. Yeah. Let's let's talk about this. On January eleventh, two thousand and twenty one, the analyst JC Capital Research published a report alleging that the Bit Digital operates a fake cryptocurrency business. How about that? It's designed to steal funds from investors and essentially has fallen in one day totals all the way down to six dollars and twenty seven cents. So the lawsuit's been filed. So you, are they've been you, selling cryptocurrency. What's so that? are you saying that a real company that is selling fake Bitcoin is selling real shares on the stock market? That's what exactly what we're and saying. Real people. We're investing into are it. Are buying it. Yes, Saxons and gold, all of the major industries. How about Essentially, that? we're invested into this company that has been absolutely found out to be fraudulent. Essentially, <laughs> they said that they were mining Bitcoin uh, in locations in China. And no Wuhan, wonder China's doing their own thing. Yeah, Wuhan, <laughs> Xinjiang, a bunch of different locations. But essentially, individuals went on over into each of those towns to find this company operation, and they all came up void. 
They found they out, and they, them, huh? they found out uh, specifically from the Chinese government that none of these operations have ever existed, and essentially, this company listed on the Nasdaq is fake. So they've but, been selling Bitcoin. Yeah, it's they've fake, been selling but it's on the Nasdaq, so it's not fake. Well, and, it, and the shares are not fake. Well, yeah. So now, you, if, but, if you're an investor, you now need to contact for the yeah, lawsuit. You, yeah, you probably uh, should be talking to somebody. Block and Levinson LLP because you just essentially lost all your financial investments and How all those people. About that. So this happens all the freaking time. Yeah. You got to be careful. If you're buying anything on a third secondary market, you need to make sure you know what you're doing. Do not do that because you know what? But Bitcoin but is like on, monopoly but it's money. it's on the NASDAQ. Well, it was, and it was fake. So now Bitcoin is not like monopoly money in one sense. Let's talk about that because there is a limited supply of tokens and no one can counterfeit them. Okay. Whereas you can just go and print more Monopoly money or purchase at Toys R Us back so in the days. So who creates the Bitcoin? So Bitcoin is a scarcity. There's only a total of 21 million Bitcoin that will ever exist. That's in the code themselves. Okay. So that's the- That's, that's the code itself, the way the that it's generated. Itself. It's a fully decentralized money. Once the 21 million Bitcoins exist, there will not be anything- else now there are forks which means you can take a bit of that code and and do your own version it's like a stock split so a fork is like a stock a stock split yeah but the original bitcoin deal is going to end at 21 million bitcoins ever which is at the current rate right now um most so industry experts say that you average 37.5 bitcoins per hour are being produced. When when somebody says i'm mining for bitcoin yes are they saying that they're just trying to get the partial pieces of that code yes. and to complete a co- a complete Bitcoin code. That's correct. So they're sharing okay. out their machines on the internet, running these large complex codes to generate these to little, generate. little pieces of slivers of gold. So not like a gold bar, uh-huh. but like a sliver of gold. And if they get enough of that, then they're hoping they can maybe have a half bar or a full gold bar. But at a 37.5 okay. Bitcoin rate per hour, they're expecting the 21 million Bitcoins to be done at the end of 2022. And then what happens? Then there's no more Bitcoin. Whoa. So and, then the and, gold standard will and, sit there and, and then we'll they, just- They call themselves De Beers. So then you have a whole bunch of other uh, forks that happen. Okay. So now let's say Bill Gates says that Bitcoins is not a great climate thing, but per- but essentially crypto could drive renewable revolutions. So Bill Gates is kind of indifferent on this, but- he says that it's not a great climate thing, specifically because because everybody's running all these, these computer servers. systems, that's correct. That's generating heat and, and electricity and and internet traffic that internet doesn't need to be that, right. That doesn't necessarily need to be taken care of. Okay. All right. But Bitcoin was created by people for software who wanted to hack the financial world and create a better system and marketplace. It's decentralized, so there's no third party to babysit your transaction. Mm-hmm. The bank is never closed. It's open 24-7 24 days, hours a day. seven days a week, and the technology enables everybody to participate in combat corruption of government. Yeah, as long as you have the capability of having a computer. That's right. Right? Yeah. Or a... So this is like a this is like a Bitcoin. This is a first world problem. I'm yeah, sure this, anybody this, in a third is, world this issue is, is not, not an everybody can access thing. Well, this that's is, no, is, but it's sold as that, right? That's that all everybody BS. can have it. That's yeah. correct. All right. Well, we are going to head out to a commercial break. <laughs> I'm glad we got all the technical stuff working. So, David, thank you very much. At the, the commercial <laughs> break, I'm going to tell you what it was, <laughs> and you're going to laugh. Um, I'm already laughing. So (laughs) we will be taking care of that. When we come back, we are going to be working on the NFTs and what it's all about on our Technology Insider. So everybody sit back and join some whiskey, and we'll see you after the break. Hi, this is Lisa Downs, host of Reigniting You, a new show here on KKNW that explores a variety of topics and timely issues for making mid to late career transitions. I'll be here every Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock bringing you guest interviews, career transition advice, and great stories to guide you to what's next in your career and life. Gain a renewed sense of purpose for your next phase with a positive, forward-looking approach. Get ready to be re-energized, recharged, and reignited Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Have you heard of Unidragon.com? 
Yeah, isn't that the puzzle people? It is. They are the largest manufacturer and sellers of wooden puzzles in the world. Let me tell you about it. They have tons of designs, all a set $29.95 on their website at unidragon.com. Yeah, I know. I've seen them. I, I really like the owl one. All of these are laser cut to perfection. Instead of those old traditional puzzles that you get that are done on cheap cardboard backings, these are all done with wood cutouts, laser cut, and the images, instead of the standard jigsaw puzzle, actually include different animals within the puzzle itself to put together. It's like it's like those big collages where they have faces that turn into Empire State Buildings and stuff. That's correct. Absolutely. You really see so you, you you like the charming owl? Well, I really like the owl. And right now there's a special going on for any Tech Time Radio listeners. If they put in the code Dragon Tech, they'll receive 10% off until June 1st, 2021. That's cool. I'm gonna put an order in today. And of course, my favorite, the inspiring unicorn. Are you gonna get the fox or are you gonna get the dragon or the fish? What 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 are you looking to get? No, man, I'm gonna get the owl. You hit the owl, not the serious panda. No, but the owl. It's all about the owl, man. I'm it's, a night owl. You're a night owl. You are a night owl. Visit unidragon.com today and make sure to put in Dragon Tech as your code to receive 10% off. And remember, yeah, those are really cool. I really like the owl. Mike likes the owl. All right, welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm Nathan Mum, and yeah. our technology issues are all fixed, and we're happy as can be. Yes, we all are happy. That's right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now, we were talking a little bit during that break, and what were you saying? What's the point? I mean, here, so what we got, right, is, is a bunch of people who have used our technology to create things that creates artificial value for other people that are competing to get it. That's correct. And everybody's paying money to, to get a chunk of this thing. That's correct. So, so what's the point? So the point is that this is an alternative to cash. And if you don't participate in it now and it blows up, then you're missing an opportunity of speculating on technology changing yeah, how transactions that's, happen. That's the key word right there. It's speculating. It's right? speculating. That's, absolutely. And that's what, what's his name was saying about gambling. That's what Jim said. Yeah. That's, this it's is, just a speculation, right? Correct. This is just all based on what they can. This is This is almost like the the uh, uh, GameStop thing. It is. It, it, but cryptocurrency probably isn't going away. And so if you have an absolute feedback on uh, cryptocurrency and you want to give us a call, again, the numbers are 425-373-5527 or 888-298-KKNW, which is 5569. Now we're going to move right into talking about what is it all about? We're moving right into <laughs> NFTs. NFTs. So this is the big hot the, thing the, right now. The Bitcoin of the, this is, the right? art world. So we're going to go into our Technology Insider. Welcome to Technology Insider. We get the information directly from the source. All right. So this is essentially, forget baseball cards, forget garbage pail stickers, forget your Star Wars action figures. The new standard for collectible items is NFTs. Non fungible non, tokens. Non fungible tokens. What? The, who the heck came fun, with that? I don't, fungible. F- fun, fungible means um, not readily uh, cloned. Yes. Not, so one to one. It's yeah, a one to one ratio. It, yeah. It's something that can't be can't be copied. I just like it that I could pronounce it actually. So that was really good. Non fungible. It, it yeah. Was, it sounds like some. It sounds like something you would eat at a party. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> a, little, a, a couple fungibles and put yeah, it in my mouth. Yeah. Give me, a, ready to give me go? some fungibles. Okay. So let's talk about this though. So before we're going to get into this with lots of detail, we're going to have our New York correspondent explain to us why the Twitter CEO executive Jack Dorsey is auctioning off his first ever tweet on a website that is selling a non-fungible token of his tweet for over $2.5 million. Yeah. Jack Dorsey entering the fray of the weekend, offering the first ever published tweet from 2006 as an NFT. Now, those five words, just setting up my Twitter, getting a bid of $2.5 million from a Malaysian crypto entrepreneur. The record for an NFT was actually shattered last week when a work by the artist Mike Wickelman, better known as Beeple, was flipped by the owner for $6.6 million. That record could actually be broken again this week when one of Beeple's works being auctioned at Christie's closes for bidding Thursday. The top bid so far for that, just under $4 million. The market for NFTs, these are basically digital works that have been assigned a token on a blockchain 
is now over $400 million. You've got songs, music videos, memes, tweets of Lindsay Lohan's face, all becoming, becoming NFTs and selling for five or six figures. The singer and artist Grimes selling nearly $6 million in videos and music with one of her videos going for $390,000. NBA highlight videos called Top Shots, they account for nearly half of the total NFT market now with King James, LeBron James, holding the record with a jump shot video selling for $208,000. Okay, so that was all broken this week, Thursday. $69 million for every day's the first 5,000 day artwork Mm -hmm. that wasn't, it was sold for 69 million at Christie's auction this Thursday. Yeah. How about that? Unbelievable. This is a all digital piece of art. It's so you never, ever get to display the art in your house. You essentially have it in a little USB drive like this. Should I put that that in my, should I put that in my wallet with my bitcoins and carry them around? (laughs) You should. That's exactly what you can do with this. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about non fungible tokens. Okay. So non fungible tokens are going to be around forever. So as much as people are like, oh, this is going to be a fad. I don't think it's going to be a fad. It's going to be a fad. No, I think this is going to be the way the collectible items, a one to one ratio of having information available. Yeah, but never mind. What's that? We're talking about you can you can attach this code to anything. So we looked at this, right? right? So we've talked about this. There, there's people there's that pi- are just taking pictures of Pokemon cards yep. and attaching these code, this basically Bitcoin type code. Yep. To these things, yeah. And there's then there's pictures of cats. Yeah. There's pictures of cats. Crypto is called crypto kittens or crypto crypto, crypto uh, kitties. kitties. Crypto kitties. I'm not a cat. That's, <laughs> that's right. There you go, David. <laughs> crypto kitties essentially. Are a picture of an old eight bit color, yeah. And most of these sell from anywhere between five hundred dollars real cash in Ethereum transferred credits, all the way up to forty thousand dollars. Yeah. Now let me tell you, I'm not an artist, but I can do the same art that these cryptocurrency cur- individuals are. I, I can I can vomit on a piece of paper take and take a, a picture, picture of, of it, it and have have it converted much. to an NFT. Yeah. And you could sell it online. Guess what I'm going to be doing? Well, I, do, I, I don't know if I'm going to be paying for your bar, but, but okay. <laughs> so let's talk about. It. So in plain English, for collectors, a non fungible token is essentially a block blockchain entry that represents a unique item that cannot be interchanged with one another, and you will essentially hold it forever. Yes, yeah, the it's the code. It's the one to one ratio. It is code. It is lines. It has nothing ones to do and with what zeros it's attached to. The correct ones and zeros of information that ensures that I have an original certificate through uh, Ethereum tokens that allows me to have this information. There's a unique blockchain specifically tied to this, which is called the ERC seven twenty one and the ERC eleven fifty five which is essentially codes for Ethereum token transfers that keep this information available. So essentially what happens is you create, very simply, you can create a picture. You create any object. Mm -hmm. You allow it to be a one-on-one ratio. You have to go through development code to have it encrypted into Ethereum. And then you can go on to sites and essentially sell it. There's two or three sites that are currently out there. Gronk. So let me just talk about this. Gronk, who is a yeah, this tight is, end this is what, for this Tampa is the, Bay. This is, the thing this is that, when it all started Because I told you real. about NFTs, and you went crazy with the Gronk stuff. I did. So Gronk essentially did this. He made he made over $6 million in two hours. Yeah. In two, in two hours, hours. In two hours. By l- creating a addition set of four different Super Bowls that he's won, yeah, that's 87 cards each, and essentially they're going for $40,000, $60,000, um, the collection of number one of each, all four sets were collected together by individuals and are being sold for over $400,000 for these devices, which is essentially a mix of ones and zeros. Makes you sort of wonder about people, doesn't it? Well, this is equivalent to the Air Jordans back in the 80s mm-hmm. that you could physically Tickle buy. Tickle me Elmo's, Cabbage Patch. It's dolls. all supply and demand. That's right. NFTs are legit. If you want to find out more about NFTs, all you got to do is Google it. Everybody's picking this up. But essentially, it is a collectible item that is a one-to-one ratio that allows you to make sure that nobody else ever has what you purchase. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. 
More to come out of the okay. uh, investment of Mum and uh, Mike at a later time about some other NFTs that we'll start pushing on the show. That's right. We got Mike's vomit at forty thousand dollars, <laughs> and we got Nathan's little uh, "I want to draw a cat for you" uh, sketches that That's that I'm going to be selling I, for hey, eighty thousand. You, just, you just, just doodled right there. Oh, you know, we I need just to take made a an NFT. That, I just need code. On there you go. Then get just code. Give me, give me, give me some code. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully that was something that makes you go. Mm. But when we come on back, we yeah, have Mike's mesmerizing like, uh, moment. Hopefully you know a little bit more about NFTs. Essentially, it is a one-to-one code that creates a specific identity that only you, that person, can ever have. So unlike software that you currently have now that you can have like thousands of copies and make illegal distributions of, this ensures that you can only have a one-to-one ratio until, of that item. Until we start getting fakes. Until we start getting fakes and then we'll have fake NFTs. <laughs> then, then we- All right, we're going to go to a commercial break now. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys back after this. Wow. Hello, my name is Arthur, and my life's work is connecting people with coffee. Story Coffee is a small batch specialty coffee company that uses technology to connect people to each product resource, which allows farmers to unlock their economic freedom. Try our medium roast founder series coffee, which is an exotic bourbon variety that is smooth, fresh, and elegant at storycoffee.com. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Today, you can get your first bag free when you subscribe at storycoffee.com with code TECHTIME. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Your business deserves the same expertise as that of a Fortune 500 company. If you need a CIO level service, why hire a full-time staff member at $250,000 a year when you can get this on-demand service for fractions of the cost? As your CIO on demand, we'll give you the steps you need to take so as to minimize interruption to your business and profitability and provide you and your business with training and education to prevent future attacks. To get any efficiency review for your business today, contact us at www.ee-services.com. Oh, Seattle, how would you like to have immediate and easy access to your live EKG and heart rate data? Your data right at your fingertips and with no need to hook up wires and leads or be strapped to a machine at the doctor's office. The new Pulse device from Vivomi continuously tracks your EKG and displays this data on your mobile phone. Have you ever wondered how your EKG and heart rate behaves when you're exercising at the gym, navigating the stressful demands of the workday, or just getting the kids ready for school or relaxing at home? The Pulse is a different kind of wearable, and you can experience this difference by going to www.vivomi.com and ordering your device today. Upper Left Corner is a PNW true crime podcast now streaming on all major podcast platforms. If you get excited when your favorite true crime podcast tells a story about a place that you've been to or the town that you live in, then Upper Left Corner podcast is for you. Each week, I tell you a story of a crime that has taken place in the PNW and give you background about the town the crime occurred in. If you like true crime, check out Upper Left Corner podcast now available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google and more. Ace Hardware is a helpful place with prompt, friendly service, knowledge, and the little things that make a big difference. Service. Selection. Advice. Community involvement. Competitive prices. Convenience. Located near you. And the things you need, such as... House keys. Lawn and garden. Plumbing. Electrical. Hardware. Grills. Outdoor living supplies. And even nuts and bolts. When you visit Ace Hardware, you'll be greeted at the door and given the help you need. So come visit us at Ace Hardware in Evergreen Way in Everett, Lake Stevens, and now Stanley. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. We got Mike right. right here. And, and do you know what? Let what? me note to self. When you have different cameras in the production studio and one has a mic. Are you are you, you going to out yourself? You should probably make sure you have it on mute. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to hear everything that goes on. So you know what? We've been doing this for quite a long time. And we had plenty of time for setup. And Mr. Mum still failed to hit Way the to go. Mic. I know. We even put on the- Why are you outing yourself? Uh, you could have uh, gotten away I, with I it. told everybody that I kind of let them know. So there All you right. go. So Mr. Mum- There you go. Mr. Mum needs Mr. to be a little bit more technical. The technical That's guy right. was not technical. That's right. <laughs> too much technical stuff. That's right. So they, poor David. It was over there okay. right in the background. I, I created an NFT. You, you do have an NFT. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were making me push buttons all over the place. Oh, what is it? What is it? Yeah, I know. Poor <laughs> David. Right. Poor no, David. Oh, look. You're getting a- You're getting a one finger salute That's right. Oh, David. And gave you a one finger salute. <laughs> <I know. laughs> like, That's what right. are you talking about? <laughs> That's right. Okay, let's go right now, though, to Mike's mesmerizing moment. This is Mike's mesmerizing moment, presented by Story Coffee. Visit storycoffee.com. You know, all this stuff that we've been talking about, uh, You, may, in fact, you said the word 
and it's scarcity. Yep. And to human beings, scarcity is a a a bad thing. It's it, that's what creates all this stuff that we're talking about, all this money that's being transferred to these seemingly ridiculous things that we could be we could be spending our money on other things. But it's 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 a it's scarcity which is the problem. And that's that's a genetic survival response that we have. And that's what creates value in our lives. So we are just that's just taking advantage of that simple human trait of scarcity. Scarcity. You know, that kind of reminds me of my like uh, Michael Jordan basketball card, right? Mm-hmm. It's a Fleer card, and it was really scarce because Fleer was not really at the time doing any basketball stuff. And so I've just hung on to that, and I hang on to it because I love the scarcity that nobody else right, has. Right, no it. one else can, you know, and that's funny because we're all unique individuals, but we don't we don't look at each other like that. That was a, made me go, mm. mm. All right, so we have Story Coffee that we are going to give out. So we are going to give this out to the people that have signed up for the NCAA tournament. Better so hurry. the winner at this is going to have a shot of the winner of today's games. We'll have a shot at the Story Coffee and we'll send that out and post that on our uh, Facebook pages and everything else that will be there. Okay. We have our a whiskey. What did you think about the whiskey? You liked the thumbs up? I liked it. I did not like it. I yeah. thought it was too much of a bit. It was a little bit of too much for me, so I did not like it I itself. Liked it. Next week's but show. I'm Scottish, so <laughs> next week's show we got some interviews that will be coming on back. We got, of course, Mike Corday. Yep. We got myself, and we got poor David Brown that worked the background there. Thank you very much, David. See you Bye-bye. next week. Thanks for joining us on Tech Time Radio. We hope that you had a chance to have that hmm moment today in technology. The fun doesn't stop there. We recommend that you go to TechTimeRadio.com and join our fan list for the most important aspect of staying connected and winning some really great monthly prizes. We also have a few other ways to stay connected, including subscribing to our podcast on any podcast service from Apple to Google and everything in between. We're also on YouTube. So check us out on youtube.com slash tech time radio, all one word. We hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did making it for you. From all of us at tech time radio, remember mum's the word, have a safe and fantastic week.